Hey, just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. On the left, Nikita Khrushchev, Soviet Union, Secretary of the Communist Party during the Cold War. On the right, Eric Hoffer, author of the book, The True Believer, and other books. Now, once again, the similarity meter shows 69%. That's good enough for me. And the reason for that is sometimes uh, there's an age difference in the photos, maybe a year, two years, gain of weight, loss of weight, wearing some type of a little bit of a disguise, and so forth. So this is a very high percentage, and it was something I spotted simply by eyesight when I was doing one of my videos, and I was discussing the book, The True Believer, by Eric Hoffer. And when I saw the photograph of Hoffer, immediately my mind jumped to Khrushchev. And uh, there's another reason why I'm certain of this one. Hoffer's background and the story of how he came to fame is BS. He was portrayed as a wanderer, even a drunk, and he just somehow got a job as a longshoreman in San Francisco, and he just began to be a philosopher and then an author. In other words, he appears out of nowhere, and he becomes this champion thinker and philosopher and writer, and he's a longshoreman. His role was created for him. Now, the way a lot of this works is that most likely Hoffer really did not write the books that bear his name. He's the puppet. He's the spokesperson. He was trained to do this. Okay? And in addition to that, they used him for the role of Nikita Khrushchev. And Khrushchev's the one who was at the UN meeting uh, pounding his shoe and insisting on some point. So it's a real famous thing in hoax history. Khrushchev pounds his shoe at the UN meeting. So there you have it. I'm quite convinced of it that Eric Hoffer plays the role of Nikita Khrushchev. And you can just simply get some photographs and with your own eyes, just look at them. Try to pick photographs where they're pretty close in age. And you will see how one individual plays the role of another on the stage of history. So once again, all the people that you know of and are so famous and so much a part of history are really just actors. <laughs> and it's, it's a stunning thing uh, to come to this truth and this reality, but it actually is true. And we are uh, uh, viewing uh, the stage Everything is put in front of us, and what really goes on is very well hidden from our eyes. So basically, we just watch a play whenever we, quote, read about history, or whenever history is being made in front of us. They're just actors. Now apply that to the current situation. All the ones that you have seen proclaim this terrible plague, they're just actors. Go to the one who doesn't act, who always is genuine. Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. Thank you for watching.